Hello everyone, welcome back. This is episode three of my series exploring energy versus momentum and how they affect the target. So in round one, our lightweight pallet beat the heavyweight pallet against a row of steel cans. In round two, our heavyweight pallet completely destroyed our lightweight pallet in the penetration test on our DIY ballistic gel. So today, we are going to simulate a chest hit on a small to medium game animal to see how they would do in a more realistic setting. So it's lightweight versus heavyweight. I got my Seneca charged and ready to go. Let's go check out our target. Okay, so this is our target for today. So we have our standard block of ballistic gel. I've cut a slice off of it. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to put us these popsicle sticks. These have got paper front and back. This is going to simulate a shoulder bone, shoulder blade. Uh, I forgot the actual proper term for it. So we're going to put this here. Then we have this. This is about uh, oh, three-eighths of an inch. And a little over a quarter. That's going to sit over top of this. And then we're going to put a layer of standard um, denim from a pair of old jeans over top of this to simulate skin. So we'll put this together, and then we're going to take a couple shots at it. Okay, so we've got our target tied up, got a band on it. Our denim is firmly against our um, backing, so it's not loose. Got the fake shoulder blade in there. And once again, we have our lightweight hat sand four touch expresses, 13.12 grains. And the JSB exact Jimbo Monsters. These are 25.39 grains. We're shooting the light pellet first, then the heavy pellet. And change up from last time, we're doing the high setting first and then the low setting so that the lightweight, so that the pellets can't accidentally hit each other. So we're gonna shoot all four and then we're gonna look at it. So here we go. Okay, high setting. Hopefully we can get a chrono reading on this. Here we go. Light pellet. There's no chrono reading. That's too bad. Heavy pellet. I'm going to put it... Let's go a little higher. Okay. So change the setting. Low setting. And we'll go higher yet with these. So light pellet. And heavy pellet. Okay. Let's go have a look at what that looks like. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay. Um, where's our tape measure one? Okay, so these bottom two are high power shots. This is our light pellet. This is our heavyweight. He actually dipped down, went off course a little bit. But, let's see if we, that should be about there. So it looks like our lightweight pellet went about five and a half inches, and our heavyweight pellet went about and seven and a half so still that's even with the additional protection of the denim and the popsicle sticks we still went quite a bit farther and then on our lower setting um what is that I'm, I'm adding a half an inch for the shoulder meat denim and shoulder blade so our small one went about four inches and our heavier one went uh, about five and an eighth. So yeah, I don't have too much to say about that. It looks cool though. That's very interesting. Okay, so let's, let's dig these out and see what these look like. See if they actually maintain any damage. So let's see.
first shot. Lightweight. Got a little denim with him. The skirt mushroomed out a lot. Look at that. Like a hourglass mushroomed way out there. And these are these are a little harder alloy of pellet too. Got that in there like that. You can see the denim in that. Put him aside. Where's our heavy one? Come here. Uh, and these are these are the high power shots, by the way. Okay, so yeah, he got denim marks in him. Didn't flare out near as much. Yeah. Now let's see how those compare to our slower ones. Okay. So this is our low speed, this is our high speed. It definitely made a little difference. Our high speed pellet's actually been compressed a little bit. It's actually just a little bit shorter than the low speed one. The top's flattened out a little less too. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's right here. Come here. Don't run away on me. Stay here. Gotcha. Okay. This one actually had some of the denim stick to him. Little little wad of denim on him. So he just took him, he just took that with him right through the gel. Yeah, honestly, not much different than our high speed. High speed took a little more damage on the front. Okay, also an observation, um, our denim and our denim and our uh, simulated shoulder blade actually slowed those two pellets down quite a bit. Because if you remember from our last video, um, this isn't the same block. This is it's really close to the same mix. Um, it might be a little colder than the other block, just because it's colder right now than when we shot the other video. But the heavy pellet on our high speed test actually made it through about 11 in, a little over 11 inches of gel. So it made it all the way over here. Whereas this time it only made it about to here. So that definitely made a difference having a little bit of armor. Okay. So thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys taking your time to stop by and watch me do this. I hope to see you again. And so until next time. That tasty kitten, what do you think of that? You're out here helping us while we're trying to do this. Yeah. You and all your friends trying to make our life a little more interesting. <laughs>